against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only you. Rip and tear until it is done. It's time. Fall back! No! They're everywhere! Holy shit. Holy shit. We have the Hell Priest signal locked in. The target is marked, but the signal will not hold for long. For it is he that they fear, not man. For his armies, they fear the mark of the beast. Wait a second. Holy crap, my mouse sensitivity. One sec. It's like a quarter inch to turn a 360 right now. Here, put it at like. Oh, yeah. All right, we're good. How do I, how do I punch? What's the key to punch? F doesn't work, it's it's V? It's E now. Oh, it is E. Okay, okay. Here, here, here. That's it. We're in a tutorial. We're in a tutorial. We are dying in the tutorial, okay? I've never died in a tutorial. Let it be known. When you damage... Look at that. Press E or mouse forward to glory kill. All right, look, we're on nightmare difficulty. I didn't think the first basic bitch zombie would they be that powerful, but like, bro. <laughs> also, uh, okay, okay, one last thing. I will say this. Um, the in the email that sent me the code it highly it said this in very big giant bold letters highly recommended in all caps to install these new gpu drivers and i didn't because i'm already live on stream so we might see some bugs or low performance what that look cool Oh shit. Look at that map. Wait, what? 
Oh, another tutorial. Press C to instantly. Our tactile pauses to prevent those claims, Kappa. True. Press C to instantly change our refill ammo across fuel. Okay. One fuel will always slowly refuel. Okay. So C to chainsaw, E to push melee. Oops. So I have no ammo, right? So I'm just like, yeah. Punchables are up. Holy fuck. Press space to double jump. <gasps> you start with double jump by default? All right, one sec. Am I missing anything down here? Where's the question mark? Wait, like there's literally a floating question mark. <laughs> wait, wait, how do I get to the floating question mark? This is the weapon mod selection screen. Also, Jam World, thank you for throwing bits earlier. Interact with a, met, a bot, get a mod. Okay. I light a mod to f uh, preview its behavior and then unlock. Sticky bombs. Hold mouse two to turn the combat shotgun into a grenade launcher that fires, fires up to five stickies. All right, so we're demo man if we do that. But that looks sick. What about this thing? Hold mouse two to turn it into an auto shotgun. Okay, what the fuck? It turns into a minigun, but it's a mini shot. It's a minigun shotgun. Uh. I'm tempted to go for the stickies because it reminds me of playing Demo Man from TF2. But this also looks really, really cool. I'm doing it. Just for my roots. My gaming roots, dude. Wait, I didn't punch up. I didn't punch up. I want to get that secret. I don't know how to get there yet, but I'm going to find it. Oh, damn right. Punching is stronger than my shotgun. True. These guys fighting each other? Hey, dude. Having fun? Double jump feels so good to start with. Give me the ammo. The checkpoint reached. What's the air strafing like? Uh, so just jumping and holding A or D doesn't work. Can you do it with just mouse one? I'm trying to figure it out. 
Looks like you can kind of air strafe after the double. You'll figure it out when you play. Probably more than me. I don't care to air strafe that much in a single player. Okay. We have this little sword thing here. Items found? What the fuck are those items found? Hell barges? The story of hell? Atop mighty thralls, the hell priests oversaw the invasion of the mortal world. Huh. Lore, dude. Holy shit. More lore. Remaining human populations, part one. Whoa. Oh, I don't know how to read it. I think I misclicked one of them. Oh, here we go. Nearly 60% of the planet has been consumed by the demons with the rate of expansion increasing every day. The majority of the world died in the first month of hell invasion. God damn. I'm gonna be honest, most of this I don't want to read chat because uh, uh, partially spoilers, but also because I want you guys to experience this on your own when you play the game, if that makes sense. Uh, whatever happened to that... I guess I can't go back and get that, uh, you know. Oh, here we go. Fire a sticky bomb or grenade into its mouth to trigger a stagger. The ballista does bonus damage to flying demons. Well, I mean, it's the only gun I have. I guess I'll do it. Press F now to swap weapon mods. The objective marker shows your current objective is present on the compass. You get aboard the Citadel. <laughs> okay. Give me that ammo. You feel like the game has too many tutorials? I think chances are... I kind of surprised by it too, considering how intuitive the first game felt in comparison. But... At the same time, it's like, I don't actually care that much. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, dude. Certain demons have weak points. Weak points flash red. Got it. Uh-oh. Out of ammo. Holy shit, I'm fucking dead. Bye. I keep moving in combat. Thanks. You actually can ride on the bars right here, like this. Even sideways, I think. Wow, that barrel just owned me. Just like normal. You have to turn up the music. We can't hear anything. Okay. Uh, we can turn everything else down, I guess. All right, let's see how this one goes. All right, new gun, new gun. Weapon wheel. Okay. I don't care about the weapon wheel. Use? Is this the auto map? Auto map! It reveals all undiscovered areas on the map. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. What is this? Uh... Excuse me. I need to go back. Can I actually go back? Because you drop off this thing. Well, you can, you can. With double jump, you can. Okay, I don't know about getting up there, though. I think we're locked out. Because we dropped. armor hello armor plus 38 so that one's a plus 50 huh this 
to see you, dude. Of course, it's the UAC, dude. Holy crap, he air shot me. I see a question mark. Uh, we see another, wait, what's that say? One up? One up. There's a lot of stuff next to us. We gotta figure out how to get to it. They probably go outside and loop around. There's so many! Holy crap. So far from this like tutorial or slash first area, it just feels like a... Oh, nice to grab it. It feels like a faster paced doom on the, uh, towards the beginning anyway. Oh, insufficient fuel. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I can't go through those. Shoot the weak point? Oh, I know the turret. Yeah, I know. Give me that ammo. Okay, so we've passed up actually quite a lot of secrets, I think, up top behind us. These three things. I want to go back and get those. What difficulty is this? It's in the title. It's a uh, nightmare, I think. I think you can go in from the top. We just have to figure out how to get up top. Another lore page. Oop. Secret found. The gate opens. Top. 
Well, what's up here though? Oh, break through this wall. Oh, we're in. We got an imp. There we go, dude. are you into the game like oh here we go press e your mouse for okay okay so we're gonna attach the pin wall we're like in a tutorial basically Oop, space a climbable walls sounds good but my mate is checking out everything else yellow key card See you, dude. Is it just me or are you moving faster than you do in June 2016? I think so too. I think I'm moving a lot faster. Weirdly enough, because you start with a faster move speed and a double jump. In general, the game actually feels uh in a lot of ways faster to me anyway. Also, I'm forget wait, 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 wait. What is this? I haven't gotten this yet. Alright. I can just do this, yeah? I don't know. Never mind. It's like right under me, isn't it? I feel like it's right in front of me. We just haven't seen it yet. Is it in the sky? Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Don't worry about me, chat. One headshot. I'm a nightmare, right? So one headshot. Oh, what the fuck? Do you do damage to him? Yeah, it does. It does. The cleansing of Earth is a necessary step on the path to a brighter tomorrow. I hate these guys, they're so sketchy. Get me out! There's two fireballs coming down mid, dude. I'm going for it. I want the HP. actually blind there's a med kit next to you i don't know what you're talking about i definitely do not know what you're talking about at all all right let's see this precision bolt right click to bring up a semi-auto loader that fires high precision high powered rounds oh shit all right what about this next one micro missiles they're back the same thing too bottomless missiles right there I'm gonna try the precision one because this one looks new. Pre 
Precision bolts unlocked. Later, Jazzy. Thanks for stopping in. Grenade, left control or mouse three. You can combo it with other weapons. It falters anything hit by the blast. So stun. Fire grenade into its mouse. Mouse. Mouth. Oh shit, you can go really fucking far. I did it? Roll. Kinda owns. Oh, that frag grenade does not go very far, huh? Got it. A one tap headshot into finisher for the small boys. Oh, hello. I like the little tick marks around the top to tell you how long you have to left to reload. Oh shit! Alright, right, we're good. Do I have time to replay Doom Twin 16 from Time for Eternal? Yeah, that's what we were doing. People, people were asking me to play Eternal, and then uh, about an hour ago, I got sent a code. I got really, really, really lucky. I got sent a code to play Doom Eternal, and so we swapped. But about an hour ago, we were playing Doom 2016. It's relatively short. Uh, I think Eternal is a lot longer in Doom 2016, so you should have time. Holy fuck. Look at that big boy. God damn. support during this transition your suffering continues to inspire us god damn it All right, open up open up got it no oh, the health it went into the abyss
I want it. I see it. It's baiting me. Oh, wait. Can I do this? Uh, where am I supposed to go here? Oh, there we go. You like look up until your hand pops out and then you can go for it. Nothing big I'm missing, right? Yeah, we're good, we're good. There's a wall to your right? Wait, really? Oh, that thing. Okay. Okay, now I see it. I think I'm, I thought you guys meant a destructible wall. Where do we go from here? Why is it there? There's got to be something for that, right? You think it's just another way up? Well, no, because the way you come up is here to there. Why would this be here? get it why is it there and there has to be a secret it's the way you're supposed to go up oh they oh so the way you're supposed to go up is i went like this right i did this i just go straight up but how you're supposed to do it is go like this Oh, okay. I understand. I'm just a natural born speed runner. Formation of the arc. Armored response coalition. Together we survive. Paid for by arc. <laughs> Oh god. What the fuck? Am I good? Tentacle man freaks me out. What? That's bullshit. Oh, he's one HP. Oh, you just shoot him. Oh, okay, okay. The solution to ever. What the? Oh, hi. What's up, dude? What's up, 
What's up, bitch? Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a little bit. I went to ham. I went to ham chat. There's too many. Oh fuck. Holy shit. Okay. The combat feels much more fluid than Doom 2016 in many different ways, I think. But also it's er like the early game in 2016 is less uh action packed as this because they give you more upgrades and your your move speed is faster and you get double jump and you get the chainsaw all starting from like the very beginning of the game whereas in 2016 you don't get so so much access at the very beginning, I think. Ooh, wait, what's over here? Also, I'm definitely missing some cool secrets somewhere. Hey, how do I get... Found it. Oh my god, that popping noise. Oh shit! Alternative, alternate path. Okay, that was my extra life right there. Wait, I already kill it? Yeah, I did. Honestly, the design of some of these sounds as well as the visuals makes me feel like uh, the game is going back to its more arcadey roots, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like, uh, it reminds me of Dusk. Oh. Is nearby. She is inside that demonic citadel. I will mark her location on your hunt. Wait a second. What is that in the background? Let's go look. There's something up here, I think. It says I can get up there, right? Or maybe it's just like you can see this giant pillar. 
Oh, wait, maybe this side? No, they clipped it off. All right, so wait, 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 wait. How do I check my objectives again? Did he say con maker, by the way? There's something walking by in the background. This is fine. This tab. Get aboard the Citadel. Okay. guy you sure all spoilers are towards the end of the game nope i just found one so i have some restrictions i'm not allowed well we'll see let me see first does this button work still okay cool the gathering of hell priests is located just above your location my scans indicate there is a lift at the center of this facility uh Uh I'm out of ammo. Fast travel unlocks near the end of a mission. Use in the auto map. So the levels are so big they allow you to fast travel back and forth, maybe to get maybe to get everything. Direct streamer, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I guess it is go in the middle. I'm sure this is fine. at this gathering but when outside of her domain she is by all accounts indestructible huh Stop 
nothing! The sacrament of this world to the great Khan Maker will be made, and the energy will be restored once again. As it is written, from the souls of the non-believers! You will not save them from their judgment. Nine out of thirteen exploration. Pretty good. I missed a cheat code. Okay. I, I so the reason I was distracted in the middle there, chat, was um I was just told that because I am live streaming, I no longer have to worry about any spoilers, apparently. Like we're cool. Streamers have been given a special thing. Which I find a little interesting because I mean, I'm a little bit worried about uh, streamers potentially just playing 24 hours, but yeah, I've been told I've been told I've been uh, good to go. And then just note to the viewers like, hey, if you run across spoilers, like you are watching the game, so you may run across spoilers. So keep that in mind. Also levels. Wait, what? What is this? Event XP gained? What is it? I, this almost looks like a battle pass implemented. And levels. A deluxe intro. So it looks like they're attempting to add monetization but they don't want to affect the gameplay itself so instead they're just dumping more monetization at the end of each mission to, in an attempt to give the game more replayability that's what it feels like so like everything we just played was normal doom and then they added to this pass and they had a leveling system and more progression systems in between the missions themselves and i think as we keep playing and also i didn't buy this so it looks free. As we keep playing and doing more missions, we're going to find out. The game has zero monetizations. So you can't buy anything. It's all free. Oh, okay. So in other words, then it has zero monetization and they just added more progression to try and give it more replayability. Interesting. I find that so backwards. Because when you see those mechanics, your first thing is oh, this is definitely going to be monetized, right? It's it's actually very telling, chat, that we see one of those mechanics and we immediately go, okay, how much money do I have to pay? Do you know what I mean? It's kind of funny. All right, next level. The cheat codes. When cheat codes do missions like does not disable progression, you can use them to complete all aspects. However, Slayer gates are disabled. A lot of things I don't know what that means. I do not have the means to locate the second hell priest. Your celestial locator is missing a component. We will need a replacement. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. So wait, I have a question. Like, how do we have a spaceship? How did we get here? Where's my sword? Did I miss something at the end of Doom? Update available. This is an ARC broadcast. 
There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doomslayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The Doomslayer, or Doom Guy, as he is sometimes referred to, <laughs> was thought to be a myth of the Resistance, a sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Mars and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Argent Tower there. He disappeared soon afterwards. The UAC continues to deny all reports of his existence. We will continue to broadcast new information as we receive it. A doom guy is now actual lore. Maybe this it was before. One more time. There are reports coming out of the quarantined Hellified Zone near the San Andreas Chasm. Satellite imagery show what ARC personnel believe to be the legendary Doom Slayer himself fighting the mortally challenged. The mortally the challenged? I didn't catch that the first Doom time. Guy Doom guy. Sometime. All right, mission select. Allows you to revisit completed missions to find items and complete encounters you may have missed. Cheat codes found in levels can only be activated through mission select. So, in other words, if you find a cheat code for a level, you have to go back to that level a second time to activate it. That's what it's saying. Right? So, in other words, let's say you're 100%, right? You're a perfectionist. You do the level the first time, like me, but you don't get everything. You can go back to that mission. If you have the cheat code, you can activate the cheat code and complete the rest of the progression. Is that what it's saying? No, it's actually usable in any level? Oh, okay, I don't know. A sort of avenging angel. He was last reported to be seen on Master Levels. Cult of Space Arc Complex. Mars, and is allegedly responsible for the destruction of the Arc. Chicos just need to be found, they can be used in any level. Interesting. As someone who's tried to restrict themselves from as much doom eternal info as possible, I actually don't know anything. Flame Belch acquired. Press R to set them on fire and they drop armor. Kill them and they drop the most armor. Oh my god. So that's how they get you to have... Okay, okay, okay. So... Glory kills, aka punching stuff, right? To finish gives you health. Putting them on fire and then killing them will give you armor. And then killing them with the chainsaw will give you ammo. So they have you three different ways to regenerate stuff. What is? What the fuck? Sentinel crystal. It's a permanently upgrade. Health, armor, or ammo. You can select an upgrade to increase your health, armor, ammo. There are four upgrades available for each category. When selecting an upgrade, the selection shows your currently selected one, how the selected upgrade will increase it. Unlocking two linked upgrades will also give you a bonus upgrade. Consider the bonus when selecting your Sentinel Crystal upgrades. Wait, how do I see the bonus upgrade? So we have, it's in the middle. Oh, 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 I'm an idiot. Okay, I thought, okay, I'm an idiot. I get it now. So the left and right sides are the upgrades and the middle is what you get as a bonus. But yeah, I thought these were the, okay. I, 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 blah, blah, blah. We're good. So flame belch takes less time uh, to cool down. Resource drops get pulled from further away. As long as you're max HP, all health pickups contribute to blood punch. What the fuck is blood punch? As long as you're at max armor, all armor contribute to blood punch. The demons drop armor at a faster rate. Heavy and super heavy demons stay on fire longer. So we need ammo. We might as well go for loot magnet first because it makes it easy. Right? So we'll pick up ammo and then this is also armor. So we get a little bit of each because we do need ammo. As you that or... The dropping armor at a faster rate. Yeah, let's get let's get a loot magnet. Ammo. Boom. 
Ammo upgraded. Oh. That was aggressive. I like it. Immediately applied. Search the environment to locate more crystals and improve your capabilities. The portal is activated and ready when you are. The, the menu sound drives me nuts. That's... It's a little too loud. I agree with that. Dude, there's a lot of stuff on this ship. We're gonna unlock all this. Seagull, a blood punch is when you punch out their blood. I see. I see, chat. Seagull, thank gosh we are saved. Congress passed a stimulus package this afternoon giving everyone in America free Amazon Twitch Prime. Rejoice. Free Twitch Prime. Wow. Thanks, states. Thank you, Spartan. Okay. So does anyone know how we got the ship yet? We're going to find out. I have to figure it out. To put an end to the demonic consumption earth, the hell priest must be eliminated following the death of Deeg Nilox. So the remaining two hell priests have gone missing. You must return to Exultia, a for forsaken city of Sentinel Pass, to acquire the device necessary to locate the remaining priests and save earth. We're going back to the Sentinel City. These are my brothers. Oh, sorry. Holy. That looks fucking sick. I like that guy's dual wielding. Wait, that was a secret? Sorry. It's okay. The puppy was gone by then. We didn't hurt him. God damn. Just punching shit out, man. Translation from the Book of Kings. Oh, shit. This is very lore heavy, but so far all the lore seems to be in these lore books you pick up. Interesting. A treasury comes from a darkest self driven by greed and want, for I have been deceived by the Deeg. They came north with I, the priest, and our allies, the cause against the con maker and her unscrupulous methods. They claim knowledge of their source of power in the demon realm, a vast foundry of souls where the innocent are put to the fire for the essence. And the foundry's destruction our victory is assured, they told us. And the fools that we were, that I am, believe their lies. On their word, we set the Doomslayer and the Night Sentinels to destroy the foundry, and the priests cast a gate for their egress. As the last veteran entered the Demon's Empire, a final hope of reclaiming our dominion, the Deeg closed the path and left them stranded. They were trapped, lost in the eternal void by the actions of traitors. This is, if you guys remember, the end of Doom 2016 as you run around. We see Sentinels and all the Night Sentinels hanging out now we know why they were there. We have fled again with barely legion of the night sentinels left to protect us. The Deegar God returned to their mistress. May the wraiths forgive my failure. All right. The night sentinels, wraiths, Deeg, the foundry, essence. There's a lot of, uh, you know, big words. Are you a, a big reader? Uh, I do read a lot of books. I don't read out loud, though, because it kind of destroys my voice, which is why I refrain from reading all ever. Why I'm going to refrain from reading every book. I can't jump on that, too. What the fuck? Gargoyles?
You can get a lot of armor, I think, from R. Oh, hey, dude. I keep pushing the wrong button every time. Habitually pressing R. Oh, hey, pupper. We must control the stones. Blood punch acquired. A melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fills the meter. Once charged, press E to unleash it. Okay, so we kill some demons. We charge it up. Oh! Okay. Where's the meter? Oh, bottom left. There was a breakable. Oh, there was? My bad. Greatly increased move can movement control in the air. Perform glory kills faster. Launch into a glory kill from much further away. Okay, you just like charge at him, dude. You gain a speed boost after doing a glory kill. Oh, hey, speedrunners. This is you guys. Oh my god. He's so fast. What the fuck? He just starts speed hacking. It's, it's fucking Barry Allen over here. Oh, greed. Yeah, I'll do that in a sec for you. Increases how long enemies remain in a stagger. A cheat death rune. A saving throw. The chrono strike. Hold mouse two in the air to slow down time. Equipment fiend. Enemies are killed by equipment are under the influence equipment. Decrease recharge time. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Enemies killed by a blood punch drop HP. All right, which one do you guys want first? I'm kind of leaning towards this one because we can do... Uh, like flame into grenade into flame into grenade and it, it's like insane uh, air strafing is cool but I don't know if it's really important right now uh, I actually want to try speed speed is like dude All right, look how fast he goes I want to see how fast I go with this this is the rune tab here you can equip Nice. Finding more runes will unlock more rune spots. Swap them to fit your playstyle. Looks like you can have three. Easy. All right, let's go do a glory kill and see how much speed I get now. Holy. Oh my God, dude. Can you, speedrunners are going to rush to this and just speedrun everywhere. All 
All right, I just died. See you later. Look at the movement you can do. Oh, what's that? Very, wait, very, wait, wait, what is that? Oh shit, am I dead? One sec. How are we gonna get to it, boys? It's gotta be off that one, right? Maybe there's something outside real quick. We'll check out here. I don't think so. I think it's... Oh, hey. You need air strafing. Oh, baby, you're right. You're right. You air strafe here to here to here. You don't? Okay, okay. Oh, maybe you can just do it off the front. Yeah, you can just do it right from here. Oh, you're good. Wait for it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I had to time double jump. I think you can just straight up jump to it. Got it. Whatever it is, I got it. All that armor, dude. Complete all encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meter tracks the points you have earned. Each weapon has 10, or each mission has 10 weapon points total. Spend it in order to upgrade your weapon mods. Here's your arsenal. Upgrade your F mods, customize your wheel, apply custom skins. Huh. Navigate to a weapon that has a mod unlocked. So let's look at sticky bombs. Sticky bomb explosion increased by 45%. Uh, sticky bomb reload by 20%. And then the right side is the mastery. Launch five stickies before having to reload. Hey, damn, that's pretty nice. Let's try let's try explosion size. Purchase all upgrades to unlock a weapon of mastery challenge. Gotcha. Same as same as Doom 2016. Whee! Whatever uh Why is that one still red? So each of these are HP, huh? It really grabs you onto those. It's cool.
lore page to the left. There's something right there I want to get. But then this spot over to the right with the doge there. looks like two glory kills for each blood punch interesting what if we can get up to that one <laughs> nope see you later biddies from pondering drifter thank you ken fuck 34 months thank you too the wolf sentinel beasts loyal creatures that lived as companions of the hardened warriors larger swifter and stronger than other animals of their kind these animals shared instincts with their masters eight of them in battle never shared publicly the origin for only they stood worthy of them oh this was uh Someone in chat earlier was asking me to view this image. Here we go. If you're still around. Probably some cool backgrounds for desktop you can make. Wrong button every time. Doggy. Seagull, your settings maxed out. No. So I will say two things. Uh, first off, I only recently got the code while I was already live to get to play this before this about I've only been playing for about an hour I think before this I was playing Doom Eternal uh, Doom 2016 and so they recommended that I install the new GPU drivers that are coming out with Doom Eternal like it says like in all caps bold highly recommended to avoid issues as well as increased performance blah 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 I didn't do it because I was already live on stream but uh you can see my video settings I'm playing on just mostly high uh i turn motion blur to low and i turn volumetric to medium which is kind of what i do in every game and i don't know nothing too special although i think it does go even higher whatever high ultra nightmare ultra nightmare are you still have a lot more video ram yeah i do huh you guys want to try putting up the, the textures See what it does. Windows 10 doesn't need a reboot for GPU drivers, though. Yeah, but it's it sketches me out to install GPU drivers and not reboot my computer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I see a difference because I barely look at it. You know, what we could try though. I don't know if I can do this while I'm in game. Um. I'm going to set everything to highest and see if my PC explodes. Let's put volumetrics to uh, medium, though, because volumetrics and then shadows to high. If we got motion blur. All right, one sec. Oh, what the fuck? You get the same FPS? Okay. I'm down with that. Where's motion blur? Oh, it's motion blur quality. I already turned it off, so I don't think it should matter anyway, but just in case. Armor! Seek Slayer. So I punched this. Is this a secret down here? Oh no, this is actually the objective. Never mind, I'm an idiot.
think we ride it. The history of the Sentinels. What the heck? Okay. If I read every single one of these, my voice will be dead in 30 minutes. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. What the heck? What are you? A dash? Oh, shit. You can dash twice? Okay. Okay. Oh shit, boys. Boom, 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 boom. Here's the crazy thing. They reload so fast. Imagine this movement along with, uh, hey, pupper. I'll follow you. Can I use, can I use dash in the air? Woo! I can. So, and dash automatically puts you on the thing. Holy shit. That is a lot of mobility. You can go back, jump that gap for the secret. Oh, you're right. I could now, huh? Yeah, we'll do it in a minute. transgressions against the covenant they are still of sentinel blood what you interfere with now is bigger than you can imagine it is written it is their time to give penance if you continue you will bring down the heaven's wrath fuck up you are but one man they are no longer your people to save. Yeah, but I'm Doom Guy. Dude, there's always loot behind the throne in every game. felt like there wasn't much lore and all of a sudden this whole universe is unfolding well there was there was more lore in the tablets near end of doom 2016 right but this one feels much more in your face and look like they, they give you a lot of written lore too That's because we hired writers. <laughs> God damn it. I hope you're actually a dev. That's amazing. They're like, we got a budget, dude. We can get more. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna punch every wall just in case. Dude, what if they had a uh, a do like a Dark Soul style like invis wall? Oh god.
Oh, hello. Is that his armor falling off? Oh shit, oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be on the ground. It's all electrified. How am I supposed to glory kill this guy? Okay, can I do it? Well, I can do it now, I guess, huh? But he just one shot me. Oh, fuck. Peace to two lives. Shit, dude. You can, there's too much mobility. People are gonna go crazy. I wanna see a speedrunner. Okay, do you guys remember where that secret was, by the way? Uh, we need to go find it again, right? Wait, was it in front of me out here? Is that it? No, that's up top. Oh, right there. Let's go. Hell yeah. Secret encounters. Secret encounters are optional timed encounters hidden in the world. Each secret encounter awards one weapon point. If you run out of time and fail, you can retry. Wrong button. Shit. Uh. Did it land it? I landed it. That's awesome. Use the point? Yeah, sure, we can use the point. Uh, let me see how to do it again. Arsenal? Sticky bombs? Oh, we need three points to upgrade next. Uh, we could put a point in upgrading our precision bolt, maybe. Oh, wait. Precision bolt also takes one? Takes three now? So, wait. This takes three? Or maybe precision bolt default takes three. Huh. All right. What's this? This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. Interesting. So this whole level is pretty circular though, right? So it, it says I've only found three out of 10 for this area. There's one question mark there I miss. Damn. What the fuck? 
plasma rifle plus the revenant its shoulder cannons are weak points destroying them is okay it sounds about right Hey, there he goes. Now he's forced into melee. Oh, oh my God, I got it. Got something down there, boys. We have two portals. Is that a one I can jump off of? Wait, let's go this way too. What is this? I know the broken wall down there. Can I crouch in there? Am I too, am I too thick? Punch it? Punch the box. Oh, this hand? Oh, okay. No, the box? Oh. <laughs> oh, we got an album, dude. All right, let's see where this goes. Okay, I understand. Dude, I can go up that. This thing is open somehow. Up there. What well, slows you down pretty hard? It's pretty gross in here. It won't let me jump either. Or dash. Jesus! How do I get out? I'm scared. There's gonna be one more, isn't there? He's gonna fucking kill me. Be cool. Oh! Oh! All right, we got the map though. Oh, we found this guy too. All right, here we go. The plasma rifle. Wait, ammo type. This is bullets good for interrupting fodder, gibbs, small demons at point blank. Good for interrupting mobile demons like the imp. Good against weak points. It deals bonus damage to shields. Maximized by using medium to close. There's no more stun. You guys notice that? There's no more stun. Guys, right, look at this heat blast. So you use a bunch of it and then you right click. Oh, it's like a massive close range AOE. I'm glad they got rid of stun though. It's kind of overpowered. What's microwave? 
A demon will explode on death. What? Instant unlock. Sarista, seven months. Sweet Mac, 15 months. The Real Shoes, 33 months. Quiz Fuss, Shifty Sloth, Mac Win UX. And all the other subs, thank you so much. You guys there like is that? a sentinel power core nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and clear a path forward. Tremor, what was the button to swap? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have another mod. Never mind. There was a punchable wall back there. Wait, really? Let me go look. Wait a second. I feel like there's actually potentially more here. That's the way I came in, isn't it? So maybe not. Because you do this circle and you jump up here. They put the... Okay. We're good. Check the map. Yeah, nothing on the map there. Yeah, because we unlocked the whole map, right? So... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, there's a lot. Like, what the fuck is that thing? I guess we're going all out, huh? Back to the hand, boys. Alright, can you hit this thing for me, buddy? Just plug this shit in. Oh, shit. So I don't know if you guys saw that, by the way. In the bottom right, a small box popped up. It said, hold R to skip. So if you ever have to replay this mission for completionist stuff, like you want to come back because there's the fast travel, you can skip all the cinematics, it seems like. Oh, dude, they totally hit something down there. Right? Okay, never mind. My map, my map is fully revealed. That means they didn't. Oh man, even more lore dump on the Sentinels. Holy shit. Wait, to check the map, there's a platform? Wait, really? Oh wait, what the fuck? Wait. Wait, what what is that? How do we get over there? Let's go through this first so we clear out the high ground. I'll push the button. I'll push it again. I'll push it again. Where is this thing? Where'd it go? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I suck to be a writer right now watching your stream. Oh yeah, I mean, well, I feel bad because in a normal playthrough, I would, I would uh, read all those to myself, but on stream, if I read, because it's like a lot of lore dump, my voice would die and I wouldn't be able to talk as much. So I just hold off from it. I think it's cool. They are going more lore heavy now. Okay. You think we can break that? Oh, you can. You plug it in right there and we'll go pop on his chest. Oh, shit.
Right, we got armor there. Pop that guy. Pop his armor off. I'm dying over and over. Oh shit. How many are there? HP real quick. Snipe his turret. Holy shit, dude. They made the combat so much better with how many more mechanics there are. It's actually insane. I'd actually be worried for like newer players on a harder difficulty. Like they're just going to be fucking clueless. You have to actually like the fucking FPS mechanics. It's cool. You need to blood punch more. I'm sure there's a lot of things I need to do more. You need to like blood punch more. I need to do like uh, so many things more. Uh, so let's see. I want to get on top of that and plug in the Sentinel Core and then use that thing right there. Use four of your extra lives. I know. Actually insane. Newer players aren't difficult to get their shit pushed in anyway. Yeah, I know. I keep hitting R by uh, habit and I keep pressing the flame button. You can grab dash refills to completely refill your dash meter so you can dash again. Oh, okay. So this, it's allow you to chain dash across. Got it. Nice. Is it almost time, dude? 
I'm all it's time we get to plug it in you can also change fov to 120 for faster speed feel yeah i'm playing at 106 right now that's like 90 in other games uh i know you can but that's just usually what i play in every game in let's go Oh shit, dude. What? Wait, wait, what's this purple thing I'm skipping? Oh shit, secret encounter. Oh shit, here we go. Oh, well, I guess I completed it, by the way. Very complete, very cool. <laughs> you know, that's a win, boys. That's a win. All right, let's see uh, what else we got. We have enough points now, right? Wow, this is important. I'll take that. That means it'll charge up really fast now. Hope I didn't skip anything else. I think we're good. I think we're mostly good. We're just in this dude's stomach right now, dude. Oh, what the fuck? Ammo. Chainsaw time. Weapon point acquired for that? Hell yeah, dude. It looks like you're supposed to go up this normal way where you like run through mid, right? You jump on one of the sides and run up top. Oh, look, they definitely don't want you to try and skip everything here. That's what you think, Jabs. Oh, fuck! Never mind, they won! I take it back! All right, Devs, you got me that time, okay? The speed, the speed runners will find a way through. And probably over. Oh, hello. Oh, hey.
I feel like I can climb on them somewhere. Nice. Another core. This is basically Pacific Rim Hell Edition. I don't think you're too far off right now. Siegel, the creative director for this game, worked on the art for the Jaegers and Pacific Rim. What the heck? Are you just... Wait, are you trolling or are you like dropping knowledge on me? No troll. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Oh. Hey, dude. Fuck you, tentacle man. Oh, here we go, boys. Nice. Loot Goblin trick. <laughs> you know, I didn't really realize how much my Loot Goblin tendencies went until I realized the first thing I got in Doom Eternal was loot related. Hi, dude. <laughs> okay, so the platforms drop. Stop it. So much armor from that. Oh my God. History of the Sentinels. Holy shit. There's everything. There's so that's telling you the full lore of the Sentinels right now. Like the king, how they got their tech, they got everything. We're only in part three. Well, okay. So the moment we touch this, right? It's gonna drop. Behind you, by the way. Wait, wait, actually, yeah, what the heck? What, what's down there? Wait, wait. Oh. Okay. Well, it goes back up. Wait, wait. What's that? What's that, though? You guys see that? Oh, it's just... It's behind this gate, I think. Okay, so if we go forward then, right? What is this? Hell yeah. You were right, dude. Whoever told me behind you, by the way, you were right. Shit, I'm out of dashes. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Wait. 
safe space. We're good. Fuck! Fuck! Alright. It's gonna make me come all the way back. All right, I see how it is. You see the Terminator reference? Did he give the thumbs up? I wasn't looking, dude. All right, hi. Hey, dude. Okay, round two, round two. What? That's a full armor. If I've ever seen a full armor, this is a full armor. All right, it's not. Fine, be like that. got most of this. Wait a second. Wait, I could just skip the normal way up and go up this alternative path and get loot. Oh, what's this on the right side? You see this? There's a key above me and a gate. A slayer gate. Optional intense encounters. Ammo and extra life spent will not be restored. Completion awards three points and a different key. Each Slayer Gate is unlocked as a Slayer Key. Okay, okay. Let's see what the hell this thing is. So that's ours up there. Is it... How do we get to it? Maybe it's... I think it's over here because this will lead up top, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, dash reset back. Yep, key. Completing all six Slayer gates unlocks access to the Unmaker in the Fortress of Doom. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> chat, chat. The font makes the O's look kind of like an A and it looks like Fartress. Does anyone else see this or is it just me? It kind of looks like Fartress of Doom. <laughs> it gets me, okay? Let's go. Okay, here's the optional encounter. It's a big ass key? Yeah, it's a. Uh, there we go, here we go. It's green! The fuck? Where am I going? What the fuck?
takes too long to charge. That gun killed me. Fuck! Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. I want it back. Okay, we don't use that gun versus big boys. Only smalls. If you're struggling, consider returning to absolutely not. Never. Okay, we have portals to run and kite. Don't do it again, run! I'm not getting baited to that gun again. Oh shit, it's AoE. He does an AoE. Okay, okay. That guy does an AOE, we have to dodge. It's not just, it will take a guaranteed two dash. Don't forget fire for armor. Fire's a one minute cooldown, basically, chat. So we do it early and then that's kind of it. Like right here. Can they follow me? They can follow me through the portals, bro! shit and just keeps going I think. Those are called Dread Knights. The fucking ballers. Fuck you, bitch. Holy shit, that was awesome. All right, that was fucking cool. You have acquired Empyrean key. Acquire all six Empyrean keys to unlock or activate the maker device in the Fortress of Doom, which unlocks the Unmaker. Okay, so these are like checkpoints to unlock a, a Superman thing, I guess. That's fucking sick. Like a big version? I don't know. We don't know what the end thing is. Whatever whatever the unmaker is, right? We don't know. But it could be some sort of super boss. But given how hard that was, 
I'm pretty tough. That was sick. Holy shit, I want a whole game of that. Alright, did I get everything down here? Okay, I think I'm good. What am I doing? The betrayer's life signal is nearby. Ah! Aww! There are motion sensors and artillery everywhere. What the fuck? guy oh he's the betrayer but like and now you seek to defy the con maker herself it is your people's time now to give penance just as it was mine hear me slayer when his heart is laid to rest then his soul will be at peace and so will mine. Hey, can I have your hammer? Let's go look around. Dude, the fact that guy has a hammer, he want can you shoot? No, no, you can't shoot anything. But this is Doom, it's a pacifist game. We don't do shooting in this game, okay? The betrayer. Look at that fucking hammer. He's 100% gonna hammer something, dude. After years of the prolonged war against the demonic threat invading the world, Argent Denur launched an offensive strike across dimensions, sending their greatest warriors into the heart of hell itself. Despite their training and their preparedness, their honor was undone by deceit. Betrayal at the highest levels of command left Argent, De Argent Denur's bravest warriors cut off and scattered in the hellscape. But of these last remaining night sentinels, only one remained in hell by choice. Betrayer of their Argent... I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Argenta? It was Commander Valen who relinquished the keys to the elemental sep sep sepulchre. Oh my god, dude, I don't know. In return for his son's resurrection. Haunted by demonic visions, the image of his son's tortured existence plagued him without relent. The whispers of demon pushing him towards madness. In a moment of weakness, he fell prey to the demon's trickery, sealing the fate of Argent Denor and dooming the kingdom to which he swore a lifelong oath to protect. Valen chose exile and hellscape for a sacrilege. So wait, what? This guy tried to res his son, and then all of the night sentinels died. The dooming the kingdom to which he swore a lifelong oath, lifelong oath. I think he's Doom Guy's dad. But you think he's my dad? Because he wanted me res? We'll find out, but I don't think so. He made a deal with the demons to resurrect his son and bring away the hell priest to the source of the sentinel's power. 
Oh, right, because we did hear more lore about that at the end of Doom 2016. Okay, yeah, yeah. I got you. They're, dude, they are going all out on this story now. You missed a toy behind you? Did I? Well, let me look. Oh, wait. I didn't explore that whole area, did I? There's this little bit. Oh, wait a minute. This is this. I think I'm going... I think I got lost now. Let's just keep going forward because we can always come back and do whatever we want later. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. How am I supposed to get all the way up there? Oh, there's so many different paths here, I think. But who's shooting me? Let's go left. All right, extra life acquired. The climb. Siegel, this is just Mario World Hell Edition. God damn it. Ah! Where's this fine? I, I barely missed it, but we're fine. Oh my god, I just got owned by that. Wait, beer be. I gotta come over here real quick. I found some health. What? I mean, missiles incoming. Onslaught? Oh shit. Is this quad damage? We already lost it. Fuck! We're good. I'm running out of ammo and everything. Come here. I fucking love this, dude. 
<laughs> oh, it's fun. The amount of mechanics, the movement, everything they've added just feels so fucking good. It's awesome. We probably missed a secret somewhere, huh? Wait, that's it, huh? 14 out of 5th, we missed one! It was probably the toy that guy was trying to tell me about, huh? Nice. A 10 out of 10, boys. Corruption has been cleansed. We missed one toy! Oh, we're so close. Free stuff. I'll take it. Level three. Eternal Slayer. A seagull Eternal Slayer. Nice. by activating your celestial locator. The second Hell Priest is located in the northern region of Earth. I will calibrate the portal now. The hub has several areas locked off due to power constraints. Once power has been restored, you will be able to access the entire ship. Oh shit, it goes in your ship. Wait, it's perfect. I have to use the bathroom. You guys enjoy this real quick.
All right, I'm back. Got me some uh, water. We're finishing up a sandwich. It's time. There you go, chat. Look at the size of that thing. A giant. Oh god. Let us continue. We gotta drop off the power. Get our ship going. Hear me? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Insert batteries into sockets to unlock items and power up parts of the fortress. The Sentinel batteries can be found or by earned completing all three of the mission challenges. Wait, what are the mission challenges? Oh, I assume I did them because I got a battery. rising re-establishing power to core and supplementary systems huh well then the do 35 oh what's up do but thank you for 35 months Who this guy? A uh, damn, he thick. The OG armor. Yeah, he's owning. Is there a whole secondary low ground area I didn't see? Well, that's what it kind of looks like. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how big is my massive ship? What the fuck? What? <gasps> Bro. We are definitely at some point going to repair this and drop it on Earth to fuck shit up. That is our mech. This reminds me of the ships on Warframe. Yeah, it really does, actually. Like, you can see it's kind of beaten up, but I think it's being repaired. That's what it kind of looks like. I think maybe that's a part... Of, I, that's why I'm going to assume after finding it down here, that's a bit... Uh, yeah. Is like, like, you know, we probably need to find some legs. Actually, no, we should just upgrade. Put some wheels on it, dude. Okay, I can't go down there, apparently. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, is that where I already am? Oh, no, I'm low ground. All right, so you see these two, and then there's something up top. Remember the big arm from earlier? Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking about, dude. We, we're finding bits and pieces of this giant, of giant mech warriors everywhere. So it's like, I think eventually I'm going to build mine. Like, why would your spaceship have a giant mech warrior in it if they don't allow you to use it at some point during the game? You know what I mean? Fortress of Doom is a command station used by Sentinel for military operations. Built during the rain. Uh, let's see. 
were of maker origin design collaboration between the two species. A propulsion is absent. The fortress manipulates space involving Sentinel energy. None of the systems are designed for maker use. Everything is used for Sentinels. This fortress is a remnant of what was, much, uh, was once a much larger fleet. Interesting. Oh, sorry. <gasps> a shocking tale of perfect hatred. Descend into the depths of darkness. Who has what it takes to survive? Oh shit, heavy cannon. Are these all the guns you find just go on these walls? And all the toys? So if you do 100% of the whole game, everything will be packed. And look how many guns we're probably going to get. Holy shit. The guns and bullets, an exclusive look at the BFG 10,000. Woo! Juiced up. Science Monthly. The Argent Energy Crisis. Man-made or made up? We talk to the experts. <laughs> Dude. Rip and tear mix.mp3 shotgun portraits best kills comp.mp4 the glory kill one.mp4 the daisy picks and kill list <laughs> oh my god dude <gasps> doom Original game soundtrack music by Mick Gordon. Use? Uh. Select. Enter. Wait, what? It's like a... Chad, do we know the password? What about this one? The Doom installation, you have zero of 14 discs installed. <laughs> sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I have my... Uh... So it's asking me to plug in or use the arrow keys for stuff, but the arrow keys on my keyboard are hot keyed to my BRB overlay. So like as I'm spamming up and down, it's like, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Dude, there's so many Easter eggs in this game. Demonology today, an open dialogue for the eternally damned. Living with fear, how the Doomslayer is only a manifestation of your unresolved inner turmoil. Mortally misunderstood, we examine the harmful effects of demonizing the mortally challenged. Slayer Outrage. Why the Slayer owes the demon community an apology. <gasps> Is that Daisy? Aww. Alright. He's got a nice spot, dude. He's got a real nice spot. That's for sure. Hey, wait a second. I want that. I, I want that. All right, let's go. <laughs> Spartans in chat, he just tosses 10 gifted subs. He probably saw the 14, insert 14 floppy disks. Discs, thank you, Spartan, for the 10 gifted. Appreciate it. Hey, Seagull, there's an elevator that goes down to where you were trying to go earlier. Oh, sh what? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa.
Right. Wait, the elevator isn't online. I don't think I have powered up the elevator yet. As we collect more batteries, more parts of the, the ship will open up. But, like, this place is... is it's pretty big, chat. Like, reminds me a lot of Warframe. What if you just jump down? Oh, we tried it earlier. It just teleports you back up top. Don't forget that key from the Slayered Gate. Um, so the key... The key right now is just for, uh... Wait. Huh. The key is more of a currency, I think. Like, you unlock all six keys. I assume. Alright, well, let's go... No, you can use it now? Oh, really? Empyrean keys? Where do you, where do you turn in Empyrean keys at? It only stores it? Oh, okay, okay. Just go to the unexplored areas. Well, there is this stuff down here I haven't looked at. I, uh, there's just so much stuff, dude. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Hey, can you open that? I, I want that Sentinel thing. I want that one, too. Okay. Nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. One out of six Empyrean keys used. So whatever the hell this thing is, each Slayer Gate unlocks it. It looks... Wait, can I just jump it? <laughs> this is called the Unmaker? Okay. It looks sick. Follow me, Yamo Estumway. Yo Netasito Mucho Chao Cha Con Diablas Y Cerveza. I have no idea what he just said. Oh, we got a drone. How does chat know anything? This game isn't even out yet. My chat are all exclusively video game developers, highly trained professional gamers who have sat in Twitch chat and are top 500 at every game they've ever played. Don't you ever question my chat's knowledge ever again. Wait, launch an ice bomb? Modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. So we can CC. Oh, and now wait, wait, the elevator opened. It said take the elevator down to the demon prison. Okay, it's called a demon prison. Is this the Slayer's version of Do is this Doom Guy's version of the gym? Yeah. There's the mech. The punish demons in the prison. Practice fighting demons without dying or losing inventory such as ammo and extra lives. Exit through the portal when you're done. Oh! How 
how do I swap the ice bomb? Oh, G? Oh, no, F? No, wait. No, F F's to swap the mods. It's G. It's G. That looks sick. So, wait, can you not die in this mode? If I go AFK real quick, do they kill me? Okay, they do. But you just come back to life over and over. Okay, okay. Gotcha. And then when you're done, you just exit the prison. So in other words, this is like the developers had a test arena. And they were just like, yeah, why don't we just put this in the game? So that way players can test out the stuff they get. They're like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Acquire a Praetor suit. Wait, is the game now telling me to go explore my ship when I just explored my ship? It is, isn't it? Thanks, dude. Spend two points to unlock perks. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A select a category. Environment. Exploration. The fundamentals, ice bomb, frag grenade. How many points do I have? I have one. It takes less time to cool down. Emits a second one that falters CC's demons. Each demon killed spawns more. Fire twice before. So you can do two grenades. It takes less time to cool down. Permafrost. The killing and damaging frozen enemies drops HP. That's really nice. The damage else against the frozen demon is increased. I wonder if these are... Do I have to go in order or not? The faster ledge grab and monkey bars. Faster weapon switch and mod swap. The dash refills faster. Dash refill on glory... Okay. Okay. I know it's only cost. You do not have to go in order. Uh... Okay. Reveals all progression items. Reveals the auto map station. Larger auto map reveal radius. Reveals the uh, position of all progression items on the auto map. Uh, let's see. Your suit takes less damage from sludge and water. Immune to barrels. Okay, that's actually really nice. The barrels that have exploded will respawn. Barrels will leave behind ammo. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, uh, hmm. I only have one point right now, so I think I'm just going to go for an easy one here. I can get, like, what is reveals all progression items on the DOS? Is that just my tab item? It just tells me everything. Gotcha. The video is showing you. Oh, well, it's telling me to upgrade before. Oh, that one's telling me all the items get revealed. Okay, I see it on the top right now. Uh, reveals the station on the minimap. Yeah, the, the video, it's because we're in this tutorial. It's telling us we have to pick one before we can see the video. We could skip, but I don't know if it's going to tell me anything important. Uh, I'm just take faster ledge grab for now. This seems kind of nice. Grappler. Dang. Okay, I see all the I see all the videos now. Let's see you get two grenades. Uh did you guys see that on the top right? Oh shit, it's like a CC. It's two it's two explosions. Weird. Sorry, I'm looking at it. I'm like, what the hell is this thing?
Okay, I really want that. I want I want cluster grenades, and then I want probably yeah. I'm just gonna, dude. I want so many things. Okay. Awesome. This is cool. Holy crap, dude. Configure the mission teleporter. I think that's all the way back up top. And then this was the keys, the Empyrean keys. A goop. I was highly recommended to install drivers that I didn't install, so. Huh. This is an ARC broadcast. Any ARC survivor? More Doom Slayer sightings have been recommended. ARC leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer. Avoid all contact with Doom Guy. <laughs> it is clear the Slayer is an enemy of the challenged. It is unclear if he could also be a threat to civilians. Let's go. With the Celestial Locator now in your possession, you're able to pinpoint the location of the enemy remaining Hell Priests. Deeg Renak, leader of the UAC division responsible for Earth's invasion, has been located at the remote cultist Arctic base. Infiltrate the encampment. Neutralize Renak. All right, all right. Are we using Doom Guy and Infiltrate in like the same general sentence? You can just click the radio for that on the left. Oh, my bad. I, I did it for the first one, not that one. The cultist base, huh? Oh. Mission challenges are optional trials can be completed at any point throughout the mission. Completing one mission challenges awards you a suit point. Completing all gives you a battery. Com uh, track it in the challenges tab. Acquire one crystal. Ignite four demons. Destroy a turret. Oh, that's easy. I, the four demon ones. Uh, that's all pretty easy. I'm down. But shit, where am I going? All right, almost died. Punching does not do much damage. Holy shit. Wait, I see that. All right, we need to get on that skull, boys. All right, maybe not, maybe not. Oh. Okay, so don't land on the red things. All right, the more you know, chat. Hello, oh, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, he could have gone this way, I guess. Okay. Is 
somewhere in this facility. Huh. I cannot pinpoint his exact location at this time. It's up there. I wonder if we can get up there from now. Is that your ship? I don't think so. I don't think that's my ship. Is it? There's no way. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I got baited, dude. Wait, what? what is that? Okay, I have six points to spend, by the way. We should probably spend some of this. Hmm. Destroy 25 turrets using sticky bombs. Okay, easy. What's the full auto one? Killing a demon with the full auto mod will drop ammo. Oh, wow. Okay, I kind of regret not getting that now. That's insane. Let's save up for six next and go for this. A headshot will give you some more stuff. Or we can go for this. Demons are detonated will trigger... Okay. I thought you were on fire, but like... Oh! Brutal! Oh, shit! The cultist key required? You guys think I can make that? Okay, I guess you can't. It really is it. All right, never mind. Take it back. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time at an end? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Long range demon shoots flamethrower when close. It's arm cannons or weak points. Okay. This seems straightforward to me. Oh, I missed. Oh. Okay, this is gonna take 10 years, but I'm gonna get it off, right? Right? I didn't even get off. <laughs> okay, dude.
I got spooked with the, the axes. Huh. I know I can get to that from outside on the bridge somehow. Oh, hey, buddy. Thanks. Okay. Can I go backwards right now and get that thing? Looks like I'm locked out, huh? Unlucky. I guess it's because I, you know, I'm not the greatest infiltrator. That's glass! Fuck! For some reason I thought it was dead from that. little road that guy got going on over there. Huh. Oh. Chad, how much you want? I bet there's a secret. Oh my god, what is that? I already have max armor. Why am I even here? Fuck! Guess I can get it now, huh? All right, one sec. <laughs> okay. Dominating. Wait, what killed me? Was it me? I think the grenade explosion must have hit me, huh? I got the key now. Let's go. <laughs> Random ass flamethrower. Oh, wait, what the heck is this out here? You guys see that? Can I go back there or not? Which side was it on? It was here, it was here. It was under, right? Okay, or not, or not, shit. Other side. Other side. Alright, take it back. See you later.
Okay, under me here. Did anyone get to it from this side? Energy shields. The plasma rifle quickly destroys energy shields, triggers a dra damaging explosion. Oh, that's nice. Hey, dude. Okay. I still have to find my way back over. Oh, wait, wait, it connects. I'm just an idiot. You just go this way. All right, we have a little arena coming up, and I have no health. Wait. All right, take it back. I have health. Not on that side. Do what? Don't forget the last challenge. Oh yeah, acquire this uh, Sentinel Crystal, yeah. Okay, can I just like move this over here and then shoot it? See our droney boy over there. Why are you? There's no way I can make that jump. That's really far. Oh, I see it. Hey. Ah. Uh. There we go. What's this? Rocket launcher acquired? Hell yeah, dude! Holy shit, this guy's nuts. Thank you. Alright, who's left? The check mark. Alright, consider ourselves infiltrated, boys. This will do rocket jump? Yeah, we know it's gonna kill us. Rocket jump? That sounds, you know, dangerous, chat. Oh, I see something. How are we supposed to get that, though?
Wait, what? Oh, I see it. Okay, I understand. Uh, wait, I could have hit E there. One sec. go all right let's see a greatly increased movement control in the air enemies killed by equipment or under the influence of equipment will decrease the recharge time that's ridiculous enemies killed by a blood punch shot uh, drop health cheat death Honestly, this one is probably the one of the craziest, but I want to do air strafing. Let's see how it is. Here we go. Now I got two. You want? I feel like you unlock this pretty fast. Oh. Oh, okay. They give you a lot of air strafe control. You still can't, you can't air strafe during a dash, but the uh, damn, that is very convenient. It's like the same speed you have on the ground. Yeah, I think it is, chat. God damn. Oops. So wait, I still have to go up top though, right? Like up that same thing I was just at and go forward. Okay, okay. I think I, I think I have to go the other way first and then forward. Right? Because isn't this all on the same floor? I think. And before it's like right in front of me and I'm actually just a fucking idiot. It is. It's right in front of me, isn't it? Wait. No, I had to go this way. I think. Yeah, we're good. Wait, what is this out here? Oh shit, I missed that. What the fuck? I can't hold that. That button, that thing is so hard to use. Oh, he hit me midair! Mid dash! Oh man, he's nuts. Use ice bomb? Oh yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Holy fuck. He's so fast. Okay, okay. The snakes are insane.
Those guys are sick. Wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. This is insane. Chat, do you guys you guys ready for something crazy? Wait, check this out. I think I can watch this. Each grenade has its own separate cooldown. So you can do ice grenade to freeze, then throw your normal grenade and kill everything. Holy shit. I didn't know. That's crazy. That's so cool. Oh, here we go. Great against heavy demons, high mobility, massive damage cuts through your rockets. Behind shields or behind a charging. Well time detonation can catch a demon. Hey dude, remote, remote, let's go remote. Oh, there was that. I could have just done that. Yeah, probably would have been a bit easier. You can burn and chainsaw enemy to get ammo and armor. And you can also... Well, I was doing that with, with, with the health one. Where you do glory and burn, and you get both health and armor. Really nice. Okay, a low cultist base. The beast was dear to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly saved. They said I'm weak? you keep missing all the secret scenarios oh dude yeah i'm not used to like okay i'm used to looking for secrets after like a, a like a chill point but there's so many areas in this game where like it will restrict you access and you're gonna have to go back and redo it later it's my bad i should look around more Never mind. I just got on. It's okay. This gives now I can get the secret, right? Also, wait a minute. Mario was here earlier. I totally missed it. I've just been like, like, totally zoned in on the game. Wait, fuck! Thank you for the 14 months. I apologize for missing you. And thank you to everybody else. I haven't actually been catching most of the subs because I've just been going like hard, dude. This game's nuts. Smash me, dude. What? What? Wait, is that his ability? I've never, I've never done. Okay. 
I haven't seen that one before for the Mancubus. Okay, yeah, we don't get close to him. Sounds good. dunks on me what is rolling me oh, okay You guys are so nuts, dude. Alright, this is probably pretty dumb. It is dumb. Oh shit, I killed him. I wanted the I wanted the reset. Come here, buddy. I think you're the last one left, but I'm not sure. Where would he go? There he is. There we go, dude. Okay, higher difficulty gaming, and this is fucking nuts. Like, it, I'm not even on, like, the hardest or whatever. I think I... Oh, I don't know if anything is higher than Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare or whatever, but... I guess it's, like, permadeath, right? I don't even think you have to move around as much as I move around. I just feel more comfortable doing it, trying not to die. The same difficulty just with permadeath? Gotcha. <laughs> oh 
Oh, there we go. Sentinel battery. Perfect. So now I see a Sentinel crystal. At first I thought it was the same thing, but it's not. Uh oh. Your salvation lies in his destruction. God damn, I forgot to keep looking around for secrets again. There's probably one I missed, huh? There's one right there. Fuck. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the result to continue. Oh, really? Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. Get out of here. Be gone. Wait, killing all those leads to a secret? All right. Now we look around. Okay, maybe there's nothing in here now. Fucking sick, though. Your super shotgun is nearby. Ooh. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Show me. work with 10 gifted subs thank you thank you so much obtain your super shotgun uh excuse me wait a second you guys see what i'm seeing down there right buddy hey there we go is there health in here bye bye I need ammo, but I don't want to use the chainsaw on this poor guy. He just works here. Air shot. Holy shit. Let's go.
Oh shit, I should have used that guy. Fucking hell, that thing, dude. Oh, I'm so bad. That guy, I need to shoot that turret. It just shreds me. Get in there, get in there. It feels so weird to be so caught up in like playing a single player game that I can't talk to chat as much because it's so intense on the gameplay side. I'm used to that in like an FPS where like, you know, you're playing Apex, you're like a 1v3 or Attention. something. You can't talk All as much. It's kind of cool. Now. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. I didn't know. My lines. Attention, all mortally challenged personnel. The Slayer is inside the facility. Please proceed with aggression. Knock up the weak points. Hey. Holy fuck. Give me my super shotgun right now. <gasps> Wait, let me in there. Is that a Slayer Gate or just a, it looks like it's just a normal optional, right? There's quite a few secrets in here. Is that too? There we go. Yeah. Nice. That's a slayer gate all the way across the map. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Wait, how the fuck? Oh, okay, the ground doesn't kill you. Okay, makes more sense. There was a wall? Oh. <laughs> okay. The dude, flame? Yeah, yeah, this one's nuts. This one's really nice. I think I'm going this one now. 
Armor and health. We'll go health. I want that cooldown reduction on flames. Here we go. Oh, it's actually not a not a teleport. Okay, that's a bait, dude. The guy pulls out his shield and then flies across the map, and then he's glowing, and I can't finish him either. Oh my god. The chair's hitbox stole my rocket in the sky? What the heck? Oops, wrong side, this side. I took too long on that mob. Do it again. Let's go. But who am I missing? There we go. Easy. We didn't have to use the super shotgun or the other thing either. Is it the objective? Go, yeah, objective is go get your super shotgun. Yeah, sure, why not? Maybe not. It's an elevator. Wait, what? What's this do? Oh. Wait, what's that one do? Oh! Those two, right? It's opening that. Okay, okay. I see. But how am I supposed to get back to where I was? Was it downstairs? I see one right there. Nice.
we're missing secrets i don't know we just got the auto map so i guess the only thing we're missing is that one down below then this one battery boys all right i want to go back down though and get that one so we have to do that puzzle again but i think it'll be worth it oh actually they put that in now okay we're good how much are you enjoying this game oh i love this game it's awesome here we go hey dude thanks buddy see you next time All right, I guess I, I guess I don't really need it anymore. Okay, I think I got all the secrets in that area for now. Let's go. Well, Do you like the aesthetic? It's definitely more retro than Doom 2016. Uh, it's also faster, more arcadey. There's a lot more lore, and the lore is put primarily in the books that you find in the game. Okay, I fucked up. <laughs> Fuck. Like the combat is very fast. Also, did I just go backwards? Uh, no, I think I'm okay. Oh, hi. successful you are now in control of the revenant drone oh shit and use it to reclaim your property oh shit mouse to left shift uh, mouse one okay we're just gonna find out dude Oh my god, this is sick. Can I do glory kills on this? What does it even look like? No, you can't. Big sense. Single press F. We did it earlier. I tried it two or three times. I think it was still on cooldown. Nice. Can we bring it back, dude? What's up, me? <laughs> All right, see you later, buddy. The fuck? What is right? I don't want to shoot him. 
Just kill him? No. I just controlled him. He's just hanging out. No. We leave him. Maybe I should save those for a sec. See how crazy this room gets. Interesting. That thing will auto track you unless you dash. You always have to dash. You can't jump, you can't strafe. You always have to dash. Cause I think it like locks on. He's left a lot of shotgun ammo. See you, dude. Oh, wrong button. Uh oh. That was not the right button, chat! guy uh oh wait can I chainsaw you no I can't uh oh oh Are we good? Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the Slayer. The priest must survive. I repeat, the priest must survive. Just survive, forehead. Oh, hello. Hello? You in here? You hiding in that box? Priest? 
You missed so many secrets? Dude, it's just because, like, I'm really not used to games where, like, uh, you can't go backwards every 10 feet, right? And so, as a result, like, I, I just sort of, like, push through areas, and then when I think about secrets, I hit tab, and then I can't, I can't go back, so I have to replay the mission later. It, like, I can't go back to this mission, I can't go back to that one, or that area, I can't go back to that, it's like, it's very punishing. You have to make sure you really keep track of it. Like, every room, you have to stop, press tab. Otherwise, you won't be able to go back after replay later, I think. I thought fast travel existed? Oh, I don't know. Like, people freak out at me, so I don't know. What's up, buddy? I like how I just punch him at first. Is it fast travel the end of every mission? Okay. That's not, that's not the play. All right, I figured it out. Don't worry. It was very scientific. guys dunked on me oh i have to go all the way back oh that's not good i'll speed run it up I forgot I had the wrong grenade on it's a good idea though keep the barrels oops Do you even kill them? 
They're spawning that many snakes plus the guy on the right? Oh my god. I think, uh, hmm. Okay. Start over, boys. Wait, that doesn't even hit me? Okay. I don't know what's killing me so fast. It's hard to tell. I think... I don't know if it's a snake or not. It's a, de it's a demon's forehead. It's a mancubus, really? I'll try, I'll try shooting him first this time or like, let me see. Let me see. All right, let's try this. I can't move. Wow, the snake, the snake ate both of my dashes so I couldn't move, GG. Holy shit, he's nuts. That was it though. Just push outside of it and come back so you choke them out instead. Easy, dude. Oh god, what is this? <laughs> okay, that was ballsy of me. I hate those. Holy shit, they do so much damage. Why? Why do they have to do that much damage? Full HP, boys. We're back. Uh, let's see. Hard to figure out where to go exactly. Come on, found it. Oh, hey guys. He'd have the thing on. It's okay.
Okay, it's not okay apparently. How well does the game run so far? It's a stable 14 month resub. Uh, it's hard for me to tell because one, I have a really good PC. Two, I'm on the highest settings. Uh, three, I don't have their, whatchamacallit. I don't have the drivers installed, which apparently are really important. They're not real publicly released. They, they came with the email. Uh, also, I'm streaming at the same time, which reduces my prior by about like 15% on top of that. So uh, honestly, can't tell you. I will say I've noticed no difference between medium settings and the highest settings but for FPS, like literally none. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not like a benchmark type of person. I, if you want to ask how well something's running, I would wait until benchmark people get a hold of it and they will go ham for you. Wait. Is it down here? Why well, just came from here, right? Does that work? Hey. Are you growing tired, Slayer? We will break your will yet. Sure. Sure you will. first. Alright, maybe not. Do you have access to the full game or just to a certain point? So I was told originally via an email that I only had access to certain points and then I'd have to hide certain boss fights or uh, stuff at the uh, towards the end of the game. But then they said um, for streaming, like we're okay. We don't have uh, embargo or anything for streamers in particular. So we're okay to just play through the game, I think. So in other words, I have the game now. And you guys can play it tomorrow night. Press tab, by the way. We've been pressing tab. Thank you for the reminder, though, because I, I would totally definitely forget 90% of the time. They actually told Baru that the end of this level was the end of what you could stream today. Okay, well, I'll do that. I was told slightly differently, but... Honestly, I was going to end after this level anyway, because I've been on for a while, so it's perfect timing. You have to get that key, dude. Oh, there's a key. But how? I got to punch that thing? How do I get up top? If I can get up there, maybe I push that box somewhere. Punch a Slayer Gate, ow. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I 
I see these chains, but I assume I have to move the box. Oh, let's go look over here, I guess. I, I know about that wall, but well, I guess we'll just punch this to see what happens. Oh, never mind. That's, oh, that's what I have to do with the thing. Okay, okay. Let's look around. Why is there, oh, I see it. I see it. I see something down here. Okay, I'm out of dashes. That's a solid unlucky. I used two earlier. All right, let's recharge both dashes. There we good. Boom. Crawl to the top. Oh, wait, that's just the Slayer key. Wait, then what's the actual, what's the other puzzle? Well, let's go do this layer gate. That's going to be tough anyway. Let's go, boys. How hard could it be, right? We'll see. How hard could it be? How hard could it be, boys? There fucking barrels next to me? Oh, that sucks. I didn't see that. What is that that just killed me? I did a full 360 and it still killed me. Also, something's new there called a prowler. Okay, super shotgun can't. Yeah, super shotgun can't one shot weak points. Shit, man. Let's just do this all fucking game. I have air strafing. We can do this all day.
What the fuck is that guy? That must be the prowler, huh? Oh, I bet. Oh! Reversal? All right, we need to get fucking something. All right, I think we, we're getting a slow reset, maybe. All right, we're cool. one more time than I wanted. Fuck! I'm running out of ammo and there's no one to chainsaw because they're all, they all require more than three fuel. That's what's the tough part. They all require more than three fuel. The guys who are crouching in the corners are prowlers. They take more than three. Like what, what just hit me? I don't even know. These guys air shot you. Oh my God. You had three fuel. Like I said, uh, they, the prowlers take more than three fuel. Some things are immune to chainsaws. Those guys I think might be immune or take more than three, not sure which. It's tough. Oh, I think I might be dead. Oh, we're good. Oh, we can get a reset real quick. Holy shit, they air shot you. Oh my God. If we get past the intro again, we're good. The, the, hard the hardest part is gonna be the first part. We got theirs down. I think I almost just died to a barrel, but not sure.
Oh shit! Death is coming, maybe. Alright, we're good. Wait, what? I didn't get it. Rocket launcher. Oh, there it is. How many? How many more? We're so close! Oh. That was fun. Dude, and that is just two out of six. And you do all six in order to unlock some massive shit in this game. I can't believe they actually made something that hard. Like you actually, it's actually nuts. I'm, not, I'm on the highest difficulty. It is actually nuts. It is so cool. Okay. Now back to puzzles and losing to puzzles. Uh, unlocks the unmaker. Dude, it's so cool. I don't know. All that, all, I really like that. that I, I seriously enjoy it. When I first played this game, I got very worried. Um, I'll show it. I'll show it after this level. Let me see. How do I? How do we do this? Difficult? How do we do this puzzle, boys? We gotta. We gotta push the box here. Then uh, I. I go to there. Anything on the walls? That was where the key was. Oh my god, is it really right in front of me? Wait a second. Am I just that blind? It's just this this whole time? Unbelievable. Wow. Oh, they, they put a body block there, a clip. Guess I know I'm supposed to go there, but I was curious. go boys <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's awesome. The check map. Yeah, I know. I'm instantly just like, yeah, thank you for reminding me again. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. Always check the map. Make sure you're not missing any big puzzles. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Huh. To take the train to the Terror Dome. He calls it a Terror Dome! What the fuck? Oh, no secrets in here, I think. We're gonna check the other side real quick. Oh, maybe not. See, there's these two secrets down here I wish I got earlier. Are those two? I might be able to go to them later. Okay, everything's just like low ammo, out of ammo, low on ammo, out of ammo. Oh, here we go. Nice. Perfect. Thanks, dude. You need to get the three cost skill and exploration for all secrets to show up on the mini map. Oh, that'd be OP. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll get that, dude. That'll help me a lot. Because I'll totally miss everything otherwise. Huh. We're back outside, huh? Snakey boy, run! A danger noodle, and we are the danger. We are currently in massive danger. Oh my god. out the long range turrets yeah now they're forced to melee so we can kite around easy Set up top to kite the hell knight. You're gonna run away for a while. The dodge hell knight man. Dodge him again. Dodge him again. 
run, run. Find some nice little medis. Get my armor. Got my armor. Kite some more. awkward signal now that's not even the boss fight oh my god also i didn't even figure out how to get to that armor up there oh is it this thing uh, okay that would have been really nice to use mid fight you're going back for more secrets or not uh probably not because as far as i know apparently after you beat a mission you can fast travel so you have a lot of weapon points let's see what we can do Thir oh my god, we have 13 weapon points. Okay. Super shotgun. The meat hook, reload speed. The meat hook will set enemies on fire, causing them to drop armor from a super shotgun. That's kind of nice. Uh, what's this? Remote detonation. Rockets will trigger a flare if they are near targets that can be detonated. It can interrupt demons during a large non-damaging cussive blast. If the rocket is detonated while the proximity flare is active, additional explosives will activate. Oh, shit. Microwave beam. We really haven't been using microwave beam too much. I should probably swap it once I can find it to the other one again. Because it's just not, it's just not that good. On this difficulty, it makes you stay in place, basically. <laughs> no problem, Sam, man. Sniper is also really nice. Headshot kill, movement speed, reload speed. We're already on sticky bombs. Sticky bombs are really OP. Uh, this is super OP as well for, for clearing because they have full auto. You can go back and forth. But I'm thinking let's get super shotgun. I don't know what else I'm going to do. It just sounds cool. Kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook. Okay. <laughs> okay, that might take a little while. And then one in remote detonation, maybe. See so you can unlock ults on first weapon. Wait, what? Oh. I. Oh. So you can use currency. If you don't want to destroy turrets using the sticky bomb. Huh. Okay. So it's like if you get stuck on one, you hate it. You have the bypass. You have an option of just bypassing it if you want to give up an armor point or whatever, right? That's kind of cool. I'm down. The fuck is that? Overdrive? Why didn't I find that during the other thing? You press F on your map for fast travel. It is not after you beat the level. Oh. 
Oh. My bad. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. I just saw a box and I hit it. I got most of it. I'm missing a battery though. And the suit point. Those are the two I forgot. Damn. So wait a minute. Someone said after that level, Baru couldn't keep streaming. He passed out because there's a boss until tomorrow. Well, okay. I said there was an embargo. XQC is past that now. Wait, is he? Baru said that embargo ends here for today. No embargo tomorrow. XQC is further ahead. Huh. Either way, I don't care. Because, well, I'm going to log off just to play it safe. Because I do have two sources of conflicting information. Um, but Baru says, so Dan's Gaming says there is no embargo. I have personally been told... Uh, there is no embargo, but Baru says there is embargo. And also I'm going to log off anyway, right about now, because I've been on for eight and a half hours and I need to get some dinner because it's 7 p.m. So I'm going to log off for the night. So that way I don't care. XQC is just speed running the game. Oh, I mean, that doesn't surprise me. And then uh, I'm going to go chill and I'll be back on tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific. I will probably just keep hard grinding this game. I know there's a new Overwatch character that comes out tomorrow. Uh, so I might, what we could do is maybe try out that new character for an hour. Cause it's the new character stuff. Usually, apparently tomorrow question. That's what chat told me. The chat told me it was tomorrow. I, I know actually nothing this time around. So if it's not tomorrow, then I'm going to be like fucking baited just like you guys. So anyway. So if a character does come, it's Tim is trying Echo out tomorrow with the developers. Okay, so that's what's happening. Usually that means uh, if Tim's doing that, like I've done those in the past, that usually means like it's on the pizza at the same time, right? So he might get it like a little bit sooner than does that mean that echo is on pizza i would assume that probably that's probably would be pizza tomorrow then okay i'm excited that's cool and then uh so if there is a character on pizza tomorrow when i start my stream i'll play it for an hour and then after an hour I'll probably get boring anyway because we're just playing quick play right and then after that we'll hop into and finish up the doom eternal i'm uh, not finish but finish off the rest of the day with doom eternal i actually think doom eternal will be like a three or four day game or even more because there's a lot of challenges, a lot of exploration. It's kind of ridiculous. And there seems to be a lot more content. Like uh, like a lot, lot, lot more. A lot more than I was expecting. So far, let me give you my initial impressions after my first day of playing Doom Eternal. Um, when you first log into this game, I actually thought it was going to be shit. Because it pops up with all this garbage like you've unlocked this cosmetic skin you've unlocked this you've unlocked that and then one of the first things you see is like a battle pass and then you see like cosmetics and you think this game has just been monetized out of the ass that's like the first thing I, I think of when I first see it like the first thing you see customized it has this little exclamation point I'm like wait what and I click on it it's all free by the way well yeah but if you first log into the game you don't know anything apparently it's all free right that's a deluxe edition thing? Yeah, I know it is. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking about like, look, when you first log into the game, you see all these skins and you don't realize that apparently chat says they're all free. I didn't know that. And so when I first log into the game and you see like EXP, you see progression, you see battle pass stuff and you're just like, uh-oh, right? It's like you, you get worried. But then you realize like, oh, it's all free. It's not that big of a deal. And the game is uh, more retro than 2016. It's faster. 
Uh, the combat feels much, much crazier than Doom 2016 did. I will say the story doesn't feel quite as tight so far, mostly because I think they've, they're trying to flesh out the game universe. But the problem with the, them fleshing out the game universe is so far of it, so far, a lot of it is pumped into in-game lore books. And so they expect the player to stop and read like every book to even get the general gist of what's happening. Whereas in the first Doom, it felt in uh, first quote unquote first Doom 2016, let's go, uh, you know, you get me. Uh, that it felt much more natural than it does this time around. And I don't, I don't really know why, but so far, I mean, I played it for one day. That's like my first impressions, five or six hours of gameplay. Like we're running around, suddenly we're on like a giant ship. We're in space. Earth is being invaded. We're like a part of the Sentinels. There's like Kings and shit. There's like all sorts of stuff's going on. And then it's all just like dumped. All this lore is dumped into these in-game books. And I feel like it's not properly shown a lot of the time because it's just not. Like Doom 2016, I felt like was much more uh, focused in that regard with the plot. Because I didn't feel like I was obligated to read all of the lore dump tablets and all the lore dump like books and stuff. Whereas this game, I feel like I have to just to get any basic idea of what's happening so far in the first five or six hours. But we'll see. We'll see if that changes because obviously it's just the start of the game. Maybe they want it to be that way, which is probably true. Um, but overall, the lore is... It's its like, I think it's a little more hidden, but it's still really fun. I really enjoy it. And then, uh, what should I call it? I think they overuse cutscenes, and also they overuse tutorials in the start of the game. The Doom 2016, I felt like when I first played the game, it didn't tell me as much as like it, this game, it'll just pop up. Massive tutorial, a bunch of text. It doesn't feel quite as intuitive in the gameplay as Doom 2016 does. And so that when I first played this game, my first impression was like, oh God, I hope this isn't shit. Because like they start spamming all these like giant pop-up tutorials. My first impression is to see a battle pass skin progression. And I'm just like, wait, what? It's very, it was very jarring. But once I got through it, as well as the UI, the UI, I don't like the text because I keep reading Fartress, but that's about it. Other than that, I mean, the combat, the gameplay, it's all still there. It's all still really, really incredible so far so i've had a great time today it's awesome everything other than like other everything other than that like the battle pass stuff was a bait because then i realized chat was saying oh like it's all free like oh, okay cool anyway i'm logging out for the night so thank you all for watching i'll be on again tomorrow hopefully there's a new overwatch character we can play that into into doom eternal but for anyone else who wants to play this game this game comes out tomorrow night or also the day after depending on your time zone i think and thank you, Bethesda, for throwing me a review key. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Boom.